Welcome back you guys, we are doing another Code.org video today. So I am taking a break from the upper levels of Code.org because most people are winding down and I'm starting back at lesson two. We're, we're going back to basics here, people. So these lessons should be quite a bit shorter than some of the upper level lessons that I've been doing and these videos in general should be much, much shorter. So let's uh, quit wasting time and get started. So in code.org, the thing you always need to keep in mind is to think about what your character on the screen must do before you write the code. So you have your character here, in this case it's the bird. It says for this puzzle, drag all of the blocks together and click run to watch it go. So we need to move forward once to get here, and we need to move forward again to get to the pig. And when we hit run, let me turn off my volume, there we go. And we've done it. All right, cool. So, puzzle three. Well, what was puzzle? Oh, puzzle one was a video. That was puzzle two. Okay. And this is also lesson two, by the way, not lesson one. Lesson one is just a video. Okay, so then it says this time we need to drag an extra move forward because we need to move one, two, three spaces. No big deal. Two move forwards. One more move forward. Click run. The bird moves forward and gets the pig. And that's the end of that puzzle. Puzzle number four, so it says, this pig is ruffling my feathers. There's one extra block that is going to cause the bird to crash. Throw it away by unhooking it from the gray blocks and dragging it back to the toolbox. Okay, so again, we need to think about what our bird needs to do on screen. So we need to move forward once. So we're checking it here. Move forward once. Well, I can already see the mistake here. So let's see. Unhooking it from the gray blocks. Oh, okay, so it's just this move forward. So it basically gives you the answer right off the bat. So anyway, you can see here you have to move forward, turn left, move forward, move forward. And that's exactly what the bird's going to do. He's going to move forward, turn left, move forward, move forward, and get the pig. Excellent. All right. So the next thing we need to do, we need to move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left, move forward. And we have six blocks to do it. So let's think bird move forward, bird needs to turn right so he'll be facing this way, bird needs to move forward, bird needs to turn left, and then he needs to move forward again. And you can see the bird did exactly that. All right, excellent. So puzzle number six now. So we need, looks like we need to move forward twice here, turn left, and then move forward twice again no big deal move forward move forward turn left move forward move forward six out of six blocks there goes the bird awesome he's gonna get the pig and we're gonna go on to puzzle number seven okay so it says keep calm and help me find the bad pig otherwise I might get angry no kidding it's angry birds get the bird to the pig and avoid the TNT so we have to avoid any of the TNT otherwise we will blow up and die and it's game over forever and you fail code.org not really okay so we can't move forward right off the bat because this ice triangle is in our way so we either need to turn right or left and I don't think it matters which so we'll just go ahead and turn the left and you can see then we can move forward and that'll bring us to here and we can then turn right and we need to move forward one two three times and in order to conserve blocks anytime you need to do something more than once or well actually more than twice because you use two blocks to do this you can use a loop so you can see if I use this and this it uses two blocks but if I do move forward move forward move forward that's three blocks used. So anytime you're doing it more than twice, you can just go ahead and use a loop and it'll save blocks for you. Okay, and that's good because we only have nine blocks to work with here. Okay, so that'll get us to here and then we need to turn right again it looks like and then move forward to get the pig. There he goes and there goes the repeat loop. And we got the pig, excellent. Continue on to puzzle number eight. All right, challenge puzzles are lessons designed to stretch your brain, do the best that you can. So challenge puzzles really aren't that hard. Uh, I do them because in my class it's required, and then, uh, you know, I think for a lot of people it's required, but you are able to skip them if you want. But this is the solution anyway. So it says, it's time to get angry. 
challenge. This code has a lot of bugs. You'll need to remove some blocks and add others. So what happens when we run the code right off the bat? We move forward, move forward, turn right, move forward, move forward, turn left. Oh, nope, we're dead. Okay, so we need to move forward, move forward, turn right. That much was right. Move forward, move forward, turn right. So then we need to move forward only once and then move forward and turn left. So we'll be facing this direction, so that's fine. Move forward, turn right. That's fine, move forward, move forward, move forward. But we can get rid of these three and bring in three move forwards. Let's see. So we're okay there, we turn left, we move forward, we turn right. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Oh, no, I only needed to move forward two more times, so here we go. Or no, you only need to move forward. Oh, shoot, I lost my place. That's where that step button comes in handy, but it just takes a long time to get your character to that point. One, two. So we need to move forward one more time, it looks like. And then we're going to need to turn right and move forward one more time. There we go. It should work this time. All right, cool. 12 lines of code written for a total of 13 blocks, including the one run block. Moving on to puzzle number nine. All right, so in this one, this isn't going to be a big deal. We've got to move forward, turn right, move forward one, two, three, four times. So move forward, turn right. We'll bring in a repeat loop, set it to four times, tell it to move forward four times, and then we need to turn right again and move forward one space. I'm going to hit run. Let that run. There it goes. Hit the piggy, and we got him. Cool. Let's move on. Oops, sorry. See, Firefox goes out of full screen whenever you reach the top of the screen. Okay. Anyway, here we go. So it says read through the code below very carefully, and you'll do this a lot throughout this curriculum. So what will happen when you click run? So we just need to look at the code and look at what the bird's going to do on screen. So it's kind of the opposite of how we write code. In this case, we're going to look at the code and think about what the character is going to do instead of thinking about what the character needs to do and then writing the code. So he's going to turn left, turn left, so that he'll turn around, so he'll be facing the other direction, move forward, turn left, so he'll be facing this direction, move forward, move forward, move forward. He's going to get the pig. The bird will make it to the pig. That is my hypothesis. Turn left, forward, move forward, move forward. Yep, he did it. We were right. Excellent. All right, so now we need it. Oh, we're going to use some loops, so help me sneak up on the pig any way you want to. So we'll just take what is hopefully the most direct path. So we'll move forward to here, turn right, move forward to here, turn left, move forward to here. So we need to repeat how many times? One, two, three times so that we don't kill ourselves on the TNT. Then we need to turn right, move forward one, two, three times again, it looks like. and then turn left, and then move forward three more times. Oops, we didn't need to repeat that three times. We need to move forward three times. Okay, and then we need to move forward three times again. And if you watch the rest of my videos, you're going to hear me complain about this a lot. I really wish we could copy and paste code blocks, but we cannot. So you always have to go back and drag another one on, and it's, it gets very tedious when you have to write a lot of lines of code. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and see if the bird gets the pig. There he goes. All right, we snuck up on the pig any way we wanted to. All right, so that is it. Did we skip? Oh, no, yeah, we skipped lesson three. It must be an unplugged lesson or unplugged activity. So that is it for lesson two of the Express Course of Code.org. 
If this video helped you out, please leave a like on it. If you have questions about how to do any of this stuff, leave a comment down below. Myself or somebody else will answer it. And also, I'm pretty good about replying to comments, so if you just want to tell me hello, you can go ahead and do that, and I'll give you a reply. And if you say something nice, I'll probably like your comment. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.